get a welcome you'll never forget. What I want, so I'll take it on. I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sitting. And this is just the beginning. I'm closing in and not getting. There ain't no point in resisting. Living life like a dream. Living life like a dream. Every night I got a dream I've been tied to the scene Now I stay here and scream Okay, it's a dream And I pray as a team One day it'll be me If I want it, then I'll get it Hey, Dad, I'm a credit Push myself to the limit If I play it, then I'll win it I'm just saying, I'm just living for the day Um, welcome back to some old Camp Geek Squad Um Thank you guys for so much for your support recent weeks. Now I didn't upload. Oh my god, sorry. I've got it up here next to me. We're on. A, we're almost on 150 subs already. 149. Um, I was. I mean, last week I was going to say let's get 150 in a week. We almost got it. Thank you so much. Um, now I didn't upload last week because I had to make preparations as my mum is having surgery at the end of this week. Um, the, all those are done now so I can record so sorry about that um, I promise I'll be uploading every week when I can and if I don't please know that there is a valid reason anyway now there was one of three topics I had planned and then others came up but the three planned was can Ben uh, it was about Ben 10 um, like can he use Super Saiyan can he use any of the quirks from My Hero Academia um, and, and stuff like that. Um, that was idea three. Idea one was, can Percy lift up Thor's hammer? But we're going to discuss that next week because I want... I'm going to ask you guys now, what do you think? And let me know in the comment section below and why you think that. And I will actually um, bring up your ideas and give credit to those who said it. Um, now, idea number two is um, everything I want to see in the Percy Jackson series. Now, if you remember, we did this towards the beginning of the channel. Um, well, I think it was towards the beginning, um, and it has, let me check now, 10 things I want to see in Percy Jackson, that's got 99 views, um, so yeah, um, that did decently well, so, oh crap, need to put this on charge, otherwise it will die, now, Sorry about that. I just realised my laptop was on like one percent. But this is like we're going over slightly different things. Think of this as like a part two or one point five. Now I've got some stuff written down here. Like a good timing is one. Now people understand. Now you might not understand what I mean by good timing, but so let me explain. Essentially, what I mean by good timing is around the lines of, I want it to be paced well. It's more about pacing, you know, the show's pacing. Um, I don't want them to rush through it, you know. In movies, of course, they have to kind of rush through it because they've got a whole book to get through. But I want them, when they do it episode by episode, I don't want them to rush through it, but I also want, don't want them to take too long, you know. Like, I don't want one episode to cover, like, several chapters. You know, say, for example, the first one. I don't want it to be... Uh, you know, the first chapter's up until he goes to Medusa, you know, I think that's a bit too quick. Um, but I also don't want it where by the end of the first episode, um, he's, uh, you know, still on the school trip. I think the episode, I think, no, maybe so. I just think the episode should... The way I think it is, is a series is... One series is one book. That's the way I think it's going. Um, I might be wrong there. And if that's the case, they're going to have five se seasons. So I want it to count at least. Um, I want it to at least be two, three chapters per thing. But obviously that depends on how much is going on. I think the first episode should be the longest. Uh, it's the introduction, you know what I mean? But I want them to pace it right. I don't want them to go too quick or too slow. There are so many anime that I think could have been really good that are either too quick or too slow. Now, I know this isn't an anime, but I'm saying that because I've been watching a lot of anime. In fact, we're going to get into lots of anime stuff in the future, uh, in the likes of Naruto, which is my favourite anime, um, High School DXD, um, Quintessential Quintuplets, um... 
well, uh, the wise, uh, the wise man's grandchild, all of those type of things. Um, we will get into it at some point, but I'm just saying, like, I've been watching a lot of anime during lockdown, so that's what I know. But also, you know, you get movies, good movies that are destroyed by terrible timing. Um, so that's one thing. I want really good timing. I want it so it doesn't rush things. I don't like it when it rushes. If it takes a little too long, it can get a little tedious, a little boring, but you can put up with it. But too quick just throws me out of it personally. Now, the next point is an obvious, loyal to the source material. Now, when I say loyal to the source material, I don't mean stick by 100%, do everything that's in there. But I mean, if you're going to make changes, which is fine from the source material, anime do it all the time, you know, from the manga. But... And, and movies do it from the books. But you have to make sure it's, like, in the spirit that the books were written in. In the spirit of the character, you know? Add things in that weren't, you know, that weren't in the thing, but suit the character. That type of thing. And and keep the plot to the books. You know, don't go off. Don't make it terrible. Don't make it terrible like the movies. Now, the next point is a sassy Percy. Now, I'm going to bring up two points. I want Sassy Percy and I want Dark Percy to be done right. I want Percy's humour to be carried through to the, like, on the T. Like, Percy without humour is not Percy. Without his sass, it just doesn't feel right. So I, so I want them to do that right. If they need to bring in a bunch of teenagers to try and get it right, bring in a bunch of teenagers. You know, like, get it done right. Because Percy Jackson books are really good because of the main character, Percy. And one of the things that makes him really good as a character is his sass. Now the other thing is Dark Percy. Now I want Dark Percy to genuinely be borderline terrifying for some of the younger viewings. Now I know what you're thinking don't want to scare. Now I don't mean like scare them too much where they don't want to watch it but I mean I want it where it can at least make them doubt whether he's the hero because let's be real I don't think people understand how dark Percy can get. I'm going to use an example from the Heroes of Olympus. Now, I know they are not doing a series of the Heroes of Olympus, at least not yet. But when he was in Tartarus, a place worse than the underworld, which is basically hell, where everything's out to killing, to kill them, even the atmosphere, and it is terrifying. Trust me, if you're, like, you think dark alleyways or, you know, a spooky room or haunted houses are scary, wait and, like, just imagine what it, generally try and put yourself in their shoes. Not to say, oh, if I had powers, generally think of what you did. And even if you had powers, it'd be terrifying, right? And they were face-to-face -face with one of the oldest goddesses, oldest beings in the universe. And Percy was choking her with her own poison. And in that moment, Annabeth was more terrified than anything else. Keep that in mind. That's like saying you're more terrified of your girlfriend or your best friend or your boyfriend or whatever... Or, or your brother or your sister, someone close to you, you're more terrified. Imagine being more terrified of them when you're in the lowest pit of hell being tortured by the scariest people out there, by, you know, being tortured by the, the likes of Satan himself, everything you fear and more, and you can't even fathom, and then being more scared of your best friend. That's how terrifying Percy is, you know, when he's dark. So I want them to do it right, but I don't want, so I don't want it to be Done when ooh, he's a little edgy, not dark. I want him to be dark. Where in that moment we go, are we sure he's a good guy? You know. But then when he goes back to normal, just like we kind of gloss, you know, kind of just go, oh yeah, he's still the same. And I want them to do it. Or you know, we know Percy pulls, Annabeth pulls it out. Speaking of Annabeth, since we, I don't want them to mess up the character like they did in the movies. Just saying. And 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 the relationship. Um. I want them to get the relationship right. I want them to time their relationship right. And I don't want them to rush them in so many times. Relationships are forced. Whether it's something like Harry Potter, where in the book, in the in the movies, you know, you just see Ginny a few times. And then, boom, before you know it, they're together. You know what I mean? Like, it's a bit rushed towards the end, you know? It's like they forgot to add it in, and then they shoved it in the end of the movies. Or there are um, movies and animes and series where the love's like forced in the first few episodes, you know? I want it to take its time. I want it to be as it was towards the end, you know, where 
essentially with Percy and Annabeth, the way I see it is they were unofficially together from around the like part halfway through the series to the end when at the end they officially get together. I also hope they do the like the demigod diaries, you know, um, like it's like a mini series in between. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. Like before the final season, I would like that, or to integrate it in, you know, do like a first series, then mini season, you know, when it fits in with the timeline. Um, but that's just me. So I want them to get the timing right and the chemistry right. But I want it to take its time. I want us to see them go from people who don't really like each other. Because let's be honest, they didn't really like each other. Not that they disliked each other. Annabeth disliked Percy. But, you know, I don't want them messing that up. But I want them to take their time. You see them become friends and trust each other. Start to begin to trust each other and become friends on the screen during the first episode. They're not friends, I say, but they start to get like a connection and close because of their adventures. Then after that, they become friends and they become really good friends. And then from that, they become like a bit more than best friends. You know, a bit more than best friends. You know, not like Grover and Percy. A bit more than best friends, but not quite boyfriend girlfriend. And then boom, you know. Let's see. I want correct development. Now, this is both for the plot and the characters. You know, I want them to do the development of the plot naturally, seamlessly, not force it, um, but not make it too too much of a backseat. I want the character development, the characters to develop at a decent rate and at, at the right times. Good fights. This is a must. If you want to do Percy Jackson, you have to do good fights. Now, I'm not... now. Yeah, you know, I've got good CGI here, and I've, like, you know, done well. But it doesn't have to be a blockbuster, you know? It, like, you don't have to do, like, all a lot of CGI. You just need to make it look believable for the monsters and for the demigod and demigods fights. Just do a good choreography and get the emotions. I think in a fight, great fights are both good choreography, um, good, um, obviously, CGI and stuff like that when you need it, but it needs to look good aesthetically, needs to have good choreography and good emotional weight. Now, not every fight is the same emotions, but you need to portray, I think in the fight you need to portray the emotions, whether it's fear, anger, hatred, sadness, whatever they're feeling, I think you need to portray that properly in the fight without words being said. And I'm not just talking about facial expressions, I mean the way that they fight and how they fight and the intensity. And get creative with them. You're with demigods. Don't just make it the same fist fights you see in several other movies. Make it where Percy has his own style, you know, different from the others, like water, you know. Um, and everyone has their own style of fighting, you know. Um, Clarice is the you know the one that goes is the tough one, you know. Great skill, but also a bit of a hothead, you know. Jumps straight in. Um, Annabeth's more of a tactical fighter, you know, so you have her less of a jumping in, taking on several people like the likes of Percy and Clarice will do, but, you know, you see her, see her fight smarter, and I think, if I see, if I imagine her fighting, I imagine her being quick, precise attacks um, to, like, key areas, you know, weak areas on the body, and her defence to be kind of tight and good at blocking, etc. So I'm, I want those things to be kept into consideration. Now, I had more, but I've lost the other page, so my bad. But anyway, you get the idea of what type of things I want. Now, this is part two, because uh, part one technically is already up, even though it's not called part one. And I will do a part three closer to the series and another time. Next week will be Thor's hammer. Uh, can Percy lift it? Then it's going to... Be ben, the Ben 10 one, and then I'm going to do um, Zuko versus Leo, and Zuko ver uh, and and um, as suggested by one of the commenters. Heck, actually, you know, let me get it up now. Um, I'll even have a photo up here. Um, Boogima, a Boogima, Bugima, a B U G G Y M A H. As you can see on the screen here. Um, she put, she or he, I don't know, put, I'd like to see Zuko vs. Leo or Annabeth vs. Suki. Uh, all of them are good. Zuko and Percy would be a great two you decide. 
Uh, those are my top three. So I'm going to do all those three eventually, but I'm going to start off with Asuka vs. Leo and then Annabeth vs. Suki. Essentially, I'm pairing them up to their, like, you know, counterparts, you know? Um, like, I'm going to compare Nico to, uh, or Hazel or, um, to Toph. Now, not because, yeah, because Underworld, because the Underworld, got to be a, a, you know, not kind of, got to, but you know what I mean. Um, pair them all off, and eventually I will have them fight all of them. You know, I'll have all of Team Ang versus all of Team um, Percy. I'm calling it Team Percy, even though it technically will include the Roman demigods as well. And then it'll be an overall, until eventually you get to, like, the likes of Ang versus Percy, you know, the two powerhouses. So thank you so much for that suggestion. If you have any more suggestions, literally just let me know in the comments of this video and or other videos, and I'll be willing to take it into consideration. Anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this has been Camp Greek's God. Please um, subscribe, leave a like, but please comment. I'm going to get more involved. I've, you know, sp I speak to you in the comments. I reply to almost every comment, if not every comment. But um, I will try and get you more involved and actually have, you know, comments appear in videos and we talk about it. In fact, we can even do a Q&A. How about if I get to 200, um, if I get to 200 within the next two months, month or two, then I will do a Q&A. How about that? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.